Hello everyone, Crystal here. Animal Crossing for mobile has been teased for over a year now, and yesterday we finally received an official announcement on Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Now, to be honest, watching this Nintendo Direct and seeing the beginning, I was disappointed. Uh, from the surface, it looked just like Happy Home Designer, but outside. <laughs> As anyone familiar with my channel knows, I did not like Happy Home Designer at all because it took out all the aspects that I enjoy from Animal Crossing and left it with pretty much just decorating. Thankfully, there is much more to the game than just that. Crafting is the first new feature that they introduced, and I am all for it. It's something I love the look of, especially because you can travel to new destinations to actually collect the resources you'll need. Now, of course, like previous Animal Crossing games, there seems to be a really big focus on doing favors for your villagers, or campers in this case. However, that focus seems to be a lot heavier this time, as they have a visible friendship meter. If you befriend a camper, they'll come to visit your campsite. Two guesses who I'm going to be befriending. I also love the idea that doing favors for your villagers allows you to gather materials and bells, both of which will be helpful in crafting more furniture for your campsite. Of course, because this game is confirmed to be free, they have to have some freemium aspects. Leaf tickets are the currency that has been introduced, which you can earn in-game and also spend real-life money on. I have to admit I don't want to spend any money on this game, but will I? Probably at least once. I'm especially happy to see bells still actually being worth something. One thing that I did not like about Happy Home Designer was the lack of fishing, bug catching, and other bell making staples of Animal Crossing. This game has stuff like that, plus extras such as the fishnet and the rock quarry. Like in previous games, you have a space all of your own to decorate as well. This time, it's not a standard house though, and instead you have your own RV. To be honest, I believe they've had the idea for this game set out for a really long time, as it connects really well with the RV campsite in Welcome Amiibo. You can design the interior and exterior of your RV, however I'm not sure how much I'm gonna bother with that, I feel like I'll want to focus more on my campsite. Of course, Animal Crossing has always been a game that's encouraged being interactive with fellow players. This game is no different, as you can visit other players' campsites or they can visit yours. I'm not entirely sure how this will work, and if someone can only visit if you have your code. Either way, I'm excited to see the return of like a box of items that you want to sell, similar to like the selling area in retail or even the gyroid in Animal Crossing population growing. One thing that people have been wanting forever, and we only actually ever received it in Happy Home Designer, is the ability to fully customize your character, especially in terms of their skin tone. I really hope that this just becomes a standard from now on, because it's really weird that we haven't had it thus far. The Direct also went over goals that you have, where you can actually earn leaf tickets. I don't believe these are the same as dailies, which most mobile games have, so I'm kind of wondering where that comes in. It wouldn't be hard to include dailies like the ones introduced in Welcome Amiibo, for example. I think the whole theme of the game is really cute, but shops like the Able Sisters to go really takes the cake. It's a very neat spin on classic characters and stores that we're used to. Taking on actually from classic Animal Crossing, this game operates also in real time, which is a series staple of course. Uh, there are also seasons, and it appears that Nintendo has specific seasonal events and such planned. The idea of amenities is very neat, and I would really like more public works projects like these in future Animal Crossing games. More objects that villagers can interact with is awesome and really makes the game feel more alive. Of course, these take quite a while to build, so it's really up to you if you want to be patient, or spend those hard-earned or, you know, purchased leaf tickets. Now, the Direct did mention updates, which of course would have to be downloaded, but otherwise I didn't see much uh, other than befriending people that required you to be connected to the internet. Now, I personally would be happy about that, it you know, wouldn't hinder me from being able to play on the go, but I can understand why some people would you know, always want to be connected as well. For a mobile game, I have to say I'm incredibly impressed. The scope of the game looks pretty massive, and the graphics are very nice. The music was also great, although I hope that that is actually the soundtrack of the game and not just a cover for this Direct. Overall, I'm very pleased and really looking forward to this game.
Really, I was almost expecting like a puzzle sort of game, and I'm very happy that it turned out to be more of a, like a proper Animal Crossing game. Would I consider this to be a full title? No, not at all. But will this tide me over until we get more Animal Crossing news for the Switch? Oh yeah. I can't wait to start working on my campsite at the end of November, and I hope to befriend a lot of you in game as well. As always you guys, this has been Simply Press Start, where gaming is as simple as pressing start.